a center of excellence, a nurturing space for innovation, creativity, and academic freedom. This is the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. As a constituent university of the University of the Philippines system, UPLB is a leading national higher education and research institution in various niche areas. Grounding itself on the needs of national development, UPLB cultivates well-rounded and critical leaders who are ready to lead breakthroughs and innovations. Through its industrial and academic partnerships, UPLB propagates its gains to advance inclusive development in various sectors. An educational institution that upholds honor, excellence, and public service. Center of Knowledge, Innovation, History, Culture, and Biodiversity. This is the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. UPLB found its home at the foot of the legendary Mount Makiling in Los Baños, Laguna, a short distance from Laguna de Bay, the country's largest lake. It has its beginnings in 1909 as the UP College of Agriculture, a tent school for a handful of students. A year after, the Forry School, or what was to become the College of Forestry, also set up its home in Los Baños. In 1972, the UP College of Agriculture and the College of Forestry, that had by then become renowned institutions, were granted full autonomy as the University of the Philippines Los Baños. Instruction, research, and extension in agriculture and forestry in the country took root and flourished in UPLB. Through its strength in these two fields, UPLB established niches in various areas, biotechnology, engineering, veterinary medicine, natural resources conservation, environmental science and management, human ecology, food science, economics and management, public affairs, and development communication. It drew its strength in the arts and other fields of science from harnessing its expertise and human resource in the biological, physical, and social sciences. Today, UPLB degree programs continue to dominate over its counterparts. Over the years, UPLB has developed graduate programs that continue to attract students far and wide including collaborative programs with international universities in food security, biodiversity conservation, and development. To make graduate programs more accessible to professionals, UPLB offers them off-campus. Recently, UPLB established the UP Professional School for Agriculture and the Environment in Mindanao, the country's food basket, in order to help build the knowledge capital that the country needs to attain food security. Instruction in UPLB is enhanced by a strong and vigorous engagement in research and public service that enables it to produce knowledge and generate technologies and innovations that promote sustainable living, making it a strong force in the war against hunger and poverty in the country. Extension and public service are the mechanisms by which UPLB brings this knowledge and technologies to the people, as well as for it to know what they need and to help shape policies in the country. UPLB's reputation as a graduate and research university was formed through the continuous aspiration for excellence and the mutual reinforcement between instruction, research, and public service and extension. It brings in partnerships with local and international universities and provides mobility to faculty members, researchers and scientists, 
and students and enhances their competitiveness. Instruction, research, and extension and public service in UBLV reflect the dynamism, honor, and excellence that its forebears set as a standard for its leaders to aspire for. The world is in a constant state of change now more than ever. It's a world that requires resilience, flexibility, and innovation to overcome challenges and to pursue growth. That is why the University of the Philippines Los Baños is pursuing future-proofing initiatives to provide agile leadership and develop local and global communities amidst shocks and disruptions in an ever-changing world. Guided by compassion, an openness to working together, and a daring to seek out breakthroughs, UPLB constantly pushes for academic excellence, produces relevant research, establishes academic and industry partnerships, and cultivates creativity, critical thinking, and innovation. To keep up with the fast-changing world and to strive for inclusivity in development, UPLB seeks to level the playing field and expand avenues for acquiring new knowledge. It is reshaping the learning experience, enabling students and educators to continue with the learning process in vastly different learning conditions. It is expanding its academic programs and supporting initiatives to create a conducive learning environment. To address the growing complexities of modern problems, UPLB continues to break barriers across disciplines to produce cutting-edge innovations and solutions that serve the needs of various communities. It is taking on challenges in food security and sustainability and coordinating research efforts to direct the university's resources toward critical research areas, making sure that the university-generated knowledge can reach its intended stakeholders and be applied to real-life contexts. UPLB is dedicated to its commitment to contribute to public good and social welfare as it continues to work with the local government and the community to address their most pressing needs. Amidst its engagements, UPLB remains as one of the top regional and global universities and continues to be recognized in the country and across the world. As the national university, UPLB aims to be a steadfast partner in development as a producer of new approaches that minimize the cost and impacts of future shocks and by honing leaders committed to knowledge creation, innovation and in cutting-edge research, and public service. 
This is UPLB's roadmap to be an impactful institution in a constantly changing landscape. Responsive, innovative, future-proof. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought many changes and challenges. Lives were endangered and disrupted. Plans had to be recalibrated. In these dire circumstances, UPLB responded to protect the welfare of its constituents and uphold its mandates as a research and a public service university. We put in place innovations to continue with our functions and work. First among our priorities was to control and prevent the transmission of COVID-19 in the university. We gathered our experts and key officials into the COVID-19 Prevention and Mitigation Committee to craft solutions and implement the policies issued by the government. As part of these efforts, UPLB established the Online Health Monitoring System, or OMS, to monitor the health status of the UPLB workforce. This allowed the university to temporarily keep employees with COVID-19 symptoms from reporting physically to work. It also advised on isolation and return to office protocols. UPLB regularly released updates and information on COVID-19 mitigation and prevention through our online media platforms and by holding information dissemination activities. Moreover, we implemented limited physical reporting to offices through a hybrid system of skeleton and work-from-home arrangement, taking into consideration the capacity of each office. Protocols were also put in place so offices can shift their operations online when a worker tests positive for COVID-19. UPLB immediately offered assistance and resources to the Los Baños government to fast-track vaccination efforts. We converted the Copeland Gymnasium into the UPLB Vaccination Hub. Medical and non-medical frontliners from UPLB assisted the Los Baños Municipal Health Office to operate the vaccination site. We launched a campaign to vaccinate UPLB personnel, their dependents, and UPLB students who live near the campus. Offices coordinated with the University Planning and Maintenance Office to help them reorient and reconfigure office spaces and venues to reduce the chances of transmission. Laboratories were also retrofitted in accordance with the guidelines of the Commission on Higher Education to allow the conduct of limited face-to-face -face classes. To improve efficiency in the new normal, we made changes in the mode of our operations. Limited office operations and capacities prompted the university to strengthen its online presence and activities. Transactions shifted online and the implementation of paperless and electronic transactions was fast-tracked across units. Online channels were optimized to accommodate document and service requests and to facilitate transactions. Electronic payment channels were set up and used to allow and encourage online payments. UPLB units also maximize social media and other electronic communication platforms to accommodate, increase, and disseminate information to stakeholders. To support the remote operations of offices amidst policy restrictions, 
UPLB facilitated the distribution of internet subsidy to faculty, reps, and administrative staff. A one-time device subsidy was also provided for eligible teaching staff. UPLB also led initiatives for the welfare of students, even if they were not on the campus, and implemented programs that addressed not only their academic and financial needs, but also their mental health. Through key financial programs led by the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, UPLB CARES, Kaagapai, and the SLAS grant, along with the college led financial assistance initiatives, we were able to address the remote learning needs of the students and help them with their gadget needs and internet connectivity. OVCSA also created and managed the Student COVID Registry. Through this platform, the university provided financial assistance and counseling to students who tested COVID positive. OVCSA and the respective colleges and units also organized wellness-related kamustahan and webinars, which provided academic guidance and avenues to discuss student concerns. Academic and research development also continued amidst the pandemic. UPLB implemented flexible remote learning. Instruction shifted to an online teaching learning platform using learning management systems. Faculty members were also invited to webinars on course pack preparation and given incentives in accordance with the memos released by the UP system. Beyond addressing the required changes in learning and instruction, we continue to develop our academic offerings to keep up with the demands of industry and explore more relevant areas for learning. New UPLB programs are coming up soon. As we navigated what seemed to be a constantly shifting landscape, we sought to make our research initiatives more relevant and in line with the Global Sustainable Development Goals through its research agenda. Accelerating growth through One Research and Extension in Action, or UPLB Agora, seeks to make UPLB a marketplace of innovation and futures research and development. Agora focuses on four thematic areas, food security and sovereignty, resilience and sustainability, future communities and institutions, and One Health. We are also following through with our research efforts by pushing for technology commercialization, ensuring that UPLB's wealth of knowledge reaches and benefits the communities. Through our partnerships, we were able to kickstart the commercialization of several UPLB technologies. These efforts are spearheaded by the UPLB Technology Transfer and Business Development Office, which facilitates the application for licensing of the technologies honed and developed by our researchers. These efforts are beginning to bear fruit with two licensed technologies Sinta Papaya and Caraginan Fertilizer, earning close to 600,000 pesos in royalty fees in 2021. UPLB is also building up more avenues for partnerships with the industry through the Agro-Industrial Park Information Technology Park or the AIP-ITP a special economic zone on campus.
In the past year, UPLB has worked to bring this vision closer to reality by developing the 2021 Special Economic Zone Project Master Plan. With new land uses identified for the site, the AIP-ITP is envisioned to foster innovation and creativity and bring additional revenue for UPLB and its surrounding communities. UPLB continued its extension programs and led new initiatives to serve the community. We established our community pantry to help our colleagues whose work was affected during the lockdowns. We reached out to communities affected by disasters through the UPLB Agapay program. Mental health and psychosocial support was also prioritized as a university service as many students and staff faced personal and external struggles in dealing with the pandemic. UPLB took part in making knowledge more accessible to the public despite movement limitations, by hosting free webinars on various topics of interest, and by shifting to online trainings, making up for the limited face-to-face -face interactions with a wider reach. The increased demand for connectivity and digital technology amidst the pandemic emphasized the need for infrastructure support and digitalization, a direction that is also necessary for the demands of the fourth industrial revolution. We increased our bandwidth from 700 megabytes to 1 gigabyte per second and installed new internet cables and Wi-Fi networks across the UPLB campus. UPLB also established the Digital Transformation Team which came up with a UPLB Enterprise Architecture Plan to map out UPLB's business model, processes, data, and recommended information and technology infrastructure. Strengthened by the lessons of the pandemic, we charge ahead with a greater sense of proactivity and purpose. Our values of compassion and innovation will continue to drive us as we strive for a national university that can withstand the challenges ahead. As we strive for a future-proof UPLB. In line with UPLB's trust toward creating and strengthening partnerships between academe and industry, it is establishing the UPLB Agro-Industrial Park and Information Technology Park or the AIP-ITP. Soon to become a hub for innovation and agro-industrial growth in this part of Calabarzon, AIP-ITP will promote robust academe industry partnerships. It will provide a venue for commercialization of UPLB technologies. AIP-ITP will serve as a training ground for university students, making them industry-ready upon graduation. Located in UPLB's Special Economic Zone, the AIP-ITP will offer investment opportunities that will generate business and employment for surrounding communities. Its designated zones for agribusiness, information technology, and research and development will become a haven for both startup and mature companies and government agencies, giving them access to the talent pool of UPLB and the surrounding universities. As an interaction hub of both research and industrial projects, it will bring the latest breakthroughs and UPLB's expertise within reach of investors and business partners, 
leading to the creation of updated and relevant initiatives that will contribute to the growth of the agriculture, forestry, and fishery sectors, promote the adoption of technology, stimulate innovation, and accelerate human capital development. By combining UPLB's continuous pursuit of academic and research excellence with the growth and opportunities of the industry, the AIP-ITP is envisioned to enhance development and catalyze dynamic social transformation in the region. haven full of nature's beauty, a living laboratory where scientists can explore Philippine biodiversity and its wonders, and a stronghold for forest and nature conservation efforts. The UP Sierra Madre land grants are a 9,000 hectare forest land in the southern portion of the longest mountain ridge in the Philippines. It is owned and managed by the University of the Philippines through the Land Grant Management Office under UP Los Baños. The Forest Reserve is composed of two land grants in southern Luzon. The Laguna Quezon land grant spanning 5,729 hectares along the boundaries of Real Quezon and Siniloan Laguna. And the Laguna Land Grant with 3,355 hectares covering the boundaries of Calayaan, Paete, Paquil, and Pangil Laguna. This biodiversity-rich area is home to more than 400 floral species, 121 of which are endemic to the Philippines and holds 3.4% of the total endemic species in the country. The Forest Reserve is also a major stronghold for conservation efforts in the country, with about 11% of all its resident flora and fauna found to be threatened species. As a protected and managed forest area, the UP Sierra Madre land grants serve as living laboratories for foresters, agriculturists, and environmentalists. Studies in these forest lands help make new discoveries and develop better understanding of biodiversity protection among the next generation. A living testament to the country's rich natural resources, the UP Sierra Madre land grants have the potential to spark conversations about and inspire action towards protecting forests to create safe, livable, and sustainable communities. In line with these conservation efforts, UP Los Baños and the UP system established the UP Sierra Madre Nature and Conservation Reserve. Part of this development is creating a network of nine gardens for notable species in the land grants and an arboretum for 97 Philippine threatened trees in partnership with the Energy Development Corporation and Clean Tech Foundation Incorporated. These developments are envisioned to further forest restoration and nature conservation efforts for the Sierra Madre and the Philippine forests and enrich research and learning for the community.
With this upcoming development efforts, the vision of making the land grants a prime destination for seeing and learning about nature is not far from becoming a reality. The UPLB Agora is our unified research and extension agenda where we envision UPLB as an agora or a marketplace of pioneering and demand-driven research and extension for development and innovation through systems thinking, solutions making, and future-proof paradigms. This agenda is a product of a series of consultations from stakeholders in the university. UPLB Agora will draw from our strength as the national university as we contribute to national transformation. It shall direct the path of research and extension as we address pressing challenges in food security, health, natural disasters and governance. We have always been at the forefront of changing lives and helping people be a better version of themselves. And we will continue to do so under the UPLB Agora. At the center of UPLB Agora lies our research and extension priorities captured by four focus areas. UPLB shall ensure people's access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food that is produced and traded through sustainable, just, and collaboratively defined agricultural systems. Anchored on the pillars of disease prevention and mitigation, 
environmental hazard protection and conservation, and resilience of ecosystems, UPLB will continue to seek to improve the physical, emotional, social, and mental wellness of the community. Anchored on the pillars of human capital, environmental, social, and economic principles, this focus area seeks to lead in and facilitate the enhancement of stakeholder capacities. Anchored on the pillars of government leadership, policy and regulation, technology and innovation, economic development and communitarian spirit, this focus area guides UPLB in promoting a culturally vibrant, safe, and economically thriving society. It will also guide us as we seek to enhance organizational capacities and promote good governance principles and practices. We shall be guided by the principles of compassion, collaboration, science-based recommendations, active engagement, and inclusivity. Through our agenda, we want to contribute more vigorously to addressing the pressing and pervasive problems in the economy, environment, and society. We will operationalize the UPLB Agora through PROACT, which stands for Participatory Response to Opportunities for Action along the four focus areas on food security and sovereignty, One Health, Resilience and Sustainability, and Future Communities and Institutions. Defined by efficient systems and processes and inclusive development and innovation, our ultimate goal is a future-proof university, a future-proof Philippines, and a future-proof world. And we shall do this with you. Good afternoon. Today, you shall witness the graduation of 1,549 candidates from the nine degree granting units of the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. Among these candidates, 530 are graduating with honors, 345 cum laude, 176 magna cum laude, and nine summa cum laude. The journey through college is rigorous and filled with bumps and curves, a path made even more difficult by the pandemic. COVID-19 has presented various challenges to UP Los Baños students, adapting to online learning, voicing out social issues in their community, and lending a helping hand to those in need, all while being mindful of their mental health. All of these have shaped what wearing the sublay means to our graduates. Here, in the end, we find our way back to the university to celebrate not only the triumphs of a successful academic undertaking, but also the process of healing and the positive changes we wish to see moving forward. Welcome to the 50th commencement exercises of the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. This is the road to Sablay.
Leading the processional is our university marshal, Assistant Professor Jickerson P. Lado. Representing the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Associate Professor Janet M. Silva. Presenting to you the candidates for graduation from the College of Agriculture and Food Science. Led by Professor Veneranda Anila Magpantay, College Secretary. The college has 174 candidates for graduation from five degree programs. The Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. The Bachelor of Science in Food Technology. The Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology. The Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Biotechnology. And the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Chemistry, a joint program with the College of Arts and Sciences. Of these candidates, there are 20 magna cum laude and 58 cum laude. The College of Agriculture and Food Science, or CAFS, continues its mission as the premier institution of higher learning in agriculture and food sciences. It is committed to the development and implementation of relevant programs in education, research, extension, policy making and advocacy, and nation building. The first College of Agriculture in the tropics. It was established on March 6, 1909, as one of the first three units of the University of the Philippines system. It aspires to offer dynamic and relevant undergraduate and postgraduate curricular programs that promote science-based, relevant and sustainable agriculture and food sciences. Because of its leadership and quality instruction, research, and extension work, it received the prestigious Ramon Magsaysay Award, the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for International Understanding in 1977. In addition, the Commission on Higher Education has recognized CAFS as Center of Excellence in Agriculture Education since January 2007. Furthermore, the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture was successfully assessed by the ASEAN University Network, or AUN, in 2017. CAFS is the first undergraduate program for agriculture in the country that, that has undergone AUN quality assurance. This year, the Bachelor of Science and Food in Food Science and Technology and the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Biotechnology will be undergoing AUN Quality Assurance. CAFS is the lone top performing school in the licensure examination for agriculturists by the Professional Regulation Commission. With a passing rate of 100% last year, its graduates have dominated the top 10 slots since 2003. The college also offers graduate programs that are administered by the UP Los Baños Graduate School. These are the Master of Agriculture, the Master of Science in Agriculture, and the Doctor of Philosophy in Agriculture. Research continues to be a major function of the college. The country's development depends upon research findings and the subsequent development of new technologies. The college conducts more than half of the country's total agricultural research, setting the pace in efforts to boost the country's food production, agricultural exports, and rural income. 
CAFS is composed of five degree granting units. The Agricultural Systems Institute, the Institute of Animal Science, the Institute of Crop Science, the Institute of Food Science and Technology, and the Institute of Weed Science, Entomology, and Plant Pathology. It is also composed of research institutes that include the Institute of Plant Breeding, the Post-Harvest Horticulture Training and Research Center, the National Crop Protection Center, and the Dairy Training and Research Institute. It also manages the La Granja Research and Training Stations and the Central Experiment Station. Once again, the candidates for graduation of the College of Agriculture and Food Science. Friends, let us now welcome the candidates for graduation from the College of Arts and Sciences. The college is led by its marshal, the college secretary, Assistant Professor James Roldan S. Reyes. The College of Arts and Sciences, or CAS, is the biggest college in UP Los Baños in terms of enrollment and number of faculty and curricular offerings. This year, the college has 397 candidates for graduation from 12 degree programs. Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Applied Physics, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Science Teaching. Bachelor of Science in Statistics. And Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Chemistry, which is offered jointly with the College of Agriculture and Food Science. level, CAS offers 16 programs, 13 Master of Science programs, 2 Master of Arts programs, and a Master in Information Technology program. The Master of Science and PhD in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology is a program offered by CAS together with several units of the university. CAS also offers nine doctoral level programs, Agricultural Chemistry, Applied Mathematics, Biochemistry, 
botany, computer science, genetics, microbiology, molecular biology and biotechnology, and statistics. Of the candidates for graduation this year, 130 are graduating cum laude, 74 magna cum laude, and 5 summa cum laude. CAS, originally named the College of Sciences and Humanities, was founded on December 21, 1972. It was formed from four departments of the College of Agriculture, Botany, Chemistry, Humanities, and Applied Mathematics. Headed by Dean Maribel L. Jonisho Sese, CAS is celebrating its golden anniversary with the theme, 50 Years of Strengthening Connections and Solidarity. The past 50 years have seen the continuous growth of CAS as its curricular offerings grew in tandem with the need for a holistic college that humanizes various disciplines of the university. CAS serves as a center of excellence in the basic sciences, a cradle of humanities and the arts, and a center of liberal education and foundation courses. It provides training in the basic physical and natural sciences, social sciences, and the arts and humanities through its various undergraduate and graduate level degree programs. For the past two decades, CAS has led the development of a new set of general education courses, resulting from the constantly revised and updated general education framework and structure of the UP system. On March 23, 1983, the Institute of Biological Sciences, or IBS, the Institute of Chemistry, and the Institute of Mathematical Sciences and Physics, or IMSP, were established as National Centers of Excellence in the Basic Sciences through Executive Order Number 889 from existing departments of the college and other units of the university. In 1998, these institutes were later designated by the Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, as centers of excellence in biological sciences, chemistry, and mathematics. Later, the IMSP Physics Division was designated Center of Development in Physics Education. In 2006, and every year thereafter, the designation was renewed for all three institutes. Soon after, the Institute of Computer Science, or ICS, was established in 1995. On March 23, 2007, ICS was recognized by CHED as a Center of Development in Information Technology. In 2016, ICS was then recognized as a Center of Excellence in Information Technology. Meanwhile, 1998 saw the creation of the Institute of Statistics, or INSTAT, which later on was also recognized by CHED as a Center of Development in Statistics. In 2016, INSTAT was one of the two academic units in the country recognized as a Center of Excellence in Statistics.
This year, UP Los Baños received the Educalidad Paramal sa Kahusayan Award from CHED. The award is given to higher education institutions with more than five centers of excellence. The university has nine centers of excellence, three of which are from CAS. These are statistics, biology, and information technology. The CHED Center of Excellence and Center of Development Programs aim to identify, support, and develop potential units of excellence in program areas needed for the development of world-class scholarship, nation building, and national development as mandated by the Higher Education Act of 1994. The BS Biology Program of the Institute of Biological Sciences was the first to be accredited by the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance among all programs in UP Los Baños. Today, the college is composed of five institutes, three departments, and one high school, the UP Rural High School, or UP RHS. The five institutes and the respective directors are as follows. Biological Sciences, Dr. Rachel Gay V. Palier. Chemistry, Dr. Marivic S. S. Laksamana. Computer Science, Professor Jadrick P. Pabico. Mathematical Sciences and Physics, Dr. Editha C. Jose and Statistics, Dr. Lisa N. Comilla. The three departments and their chairs are as follows. Humanities, Dr. Katrina Ross A. Tan. Social Sciences, Assistant Professor Athene P. Mercado. And Human Kinetics, Assistant Professor Rowena D. Cardenas. Meanwhile, UPRHS is currently headed by its principal, Dr. Gregorio Y. Ardales, Jr. UPRHS is the laboratory arm for students taking Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Science Teaching, an inter-unit program led by its coordinator, Associate Professor Rosemary D. Eusebio. The college also offers the National Service Training Program in which students implement literacy projects as well as community development projects. CAS is home to a pool of faculty members and research staff who have reaped various awards of distinction at the university UP system, and national levels. Among these are awards from the National Academy of Science and Technology, where several CAS faculty members are academicians and outstanding young scientist awardees. The Civil Service Commission, the Department of Science and Technology, and the Department of Agriculture, among others. These awards were earned from scholarly works of CAS faculty and staff, which have contributed to the excellent conduct of instruction, research, and extension activities in the college. In instruction, CAS is home to the most number of outstanding teachers in the biological and physical sciences and the social sciences and humanities disciplines. Several faculty members from IBS and IMSP are designated as UP scientists. Likewise, a number of faculty members from the Department of Humanities have been designated as UP artists. To date, 11 former faculty members are appointed as UP Professors Emeriti. 
its BS Chemistry and Agricultural Chemistry graduates have consistently taken the top places in the Professional Regulation Commission Chemistry Licensure Examination. In fact, the BS Chemistry and BS Agricultural Chemistry graduates obtained a 100% passing rate, naming UP Los Baños as one of the top performing schools in the 2021 Chemistry Licensure Examination. It is not surprising, therefore, that CAS students have consistently proven their mettle in various fields of discipline. Presenting to you the candidates for graduation of the College of Development Communication, led by its Marshal, Dr. Lisa A. Cabrera. This year, the college has 40 candidates for graduation coming from the degree program, Bachelor of Science in Development Communication, 11 of whom are graduating cum laude, 14 magna cum laude, and one summa cum laude. Let us now welcome Let us now welcome the candidates for graduation from the College of Economics and Management led by its marshal the college secretary assistant professor Rowena A Dorado This year the College of Economics and Management or SEM has 108 candidates for graduation of these candidates, 40 are graduating cum laude and 20 magna cum laude. Please welcome the candidates for graduation from the College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology, led by its marshal, the college secretary, Associate Professor Butch G. Batalier. This year, the College of, Agri the College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology, or SEAT, has 181 candidates for graduation from its various degree programs. The Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. The Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, and the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Of the 181 candidates for graduation, 35 are cum laude and five magna cum laude. SEAT envisions excellence in engineering education, research and extension, and is committed to progressive transformation and global relevance of Philippine agriculture and industry. SEAT's curriculum provides basic education that integrates engineering science and design with applied biological, environment, and agricultural sciences.
that allow students to develop skills and professional knowledge common to their specialized fields. Graduates of SEAT are expected to apply their knowledge and skills for the agro-industrial development needs of the country. SEAT is proud of its reputation as a premier institution for engineering education in the Philippines. Founded in 1912 as a department of the UP College of Agriculture, SEAT is celebrating its 110 years of engineering excellence and leadership in agro-industry in the country. Following its establishment as the Institute of Agricultural Engineering and Technology in 1976, SEAT went on to become a full-fledged college in 1983 with BS Agricultural Engineering as its degree offering. Throughout its 110 years of existence, SEAT has maintained its preeminence among engineering schools in the country, as proven by the following honors that it currently enjoys. Top performing school in the country in terms of performance in the agricultural, electrical, civil, and chemical engineering board examinations given by the Professional Regulation Commission. ASEAN University Network Accreditation for its degree programs and Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering and Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. CHAD Center of Excellence for the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. CHAD Center of Development for the Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering and member of the Engineering Research and Development for Technology Consortia. With the Institution of Chemical, Civil, Electrical, Industrial, and Mechanical Engineering programs, SEAT has grown to become the second largest college of UP Los Baños in terms of undergraduate student population reaching 2,883 as of the second semester AY 2021 to 2022. The college has six baccalaureate programs, three master's programs, and one doctoral program offered in seven academic units and supported by two research and extension units. The academic units are the Institute of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, the Department of Chemical Engineering, the Department of Civil Engineering, the Department of Electrical Engineering, the Department of Industrial Engineering, the Department of Mechanical Engineering, and the Department of Engineering Science. Friends, once again, the candidates for graduation of the College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology. Now, let us welcome the candidates for graduation from the College of Forestry and Natural Resources. Led by their marshal, the College Secretary, Associate Professor Rosalie C. Mendoza. For 2022, the College of Forestry and Natural Resources, or CFNR, has 138 candidates for graduation coming from the two degree programs that the college offers. 44 students for the Certificate in Forestry and 94 students for the Bachelor of Science in Forestry. Of these 94 students, 30 are graduating cum laude, 5 magna cum laude, and for the first time in 112 years, CFNR has produced its first summa cum laude. Likewise, 
CFNR has five candidates for graduation in a joint program with the College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology. The Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering major in Pulp and Paper Technology. CFNR graduates posted a 100% passing rate in the 2021 Forrester Licensure Examination with a national passing rate being 46.2%. Four CFNR graduates also landed in the elite 2021 Forrester Licensure Examination Top Notchers. CFNR prides itself to be consistently the lone top-performing forestry school in the Philippines. CFNR was established on April 19, 1910 and celebrated its 112th founding anniversary this year. It has since grown into a leading educational institution in tropical forestry in the region, being conferred the award of distinction by the Commission on Higher Education as the Center of Excellence in Forestry Education since 2000. Once again, the candidates for graduation of the College of Forestry and Natural Resources. Please welcome the candidates for graduation of the College of Human Ecology. They are led by its college secretary, Professor Marison R. D. This year, the College of Human Ecology, or CHE, has 108 candidates for graduation coming from its two degree programs. The Bachelor of Science in Human Ecology and the Bachelor of Science in Nutrition. Of the 108 candidates, 76 are graduating with academic honors. 36 cum laude, 38 magna cum laude, and two summa cum laude. Chess BS Nutrition graduates have brought honor to the university by getting a 100% passing rate in the professional licensure examination for nutritionist dietitians. Thus, UP Los Baños has been consistently awarded the top performing school in this board exam for the past 13 years. Initially established as an institute on November 28, 1974, CHE became a full-fledged college in 1983. CHE is the university's response to the growing concern for the quality of life of humans. Through the enhancement of both the immediate and larger environments of which they are a part. Founded on the scientific understanding of the broad components of the human ecological perspective, CHE utilizes interdisciplinary, integrative, and holistic approaches in its commitment to the development of the human being and families into self-reliant and ecologically stable communities. Once again, please welcome the candidates for graduation from the College of Human Ecology. Let us all welcome the candidates for graduation from the College of Veterinary Medicine, led by its marshal, the college secretary, Dr. Mark Joseph M. Desamero. This year, the college has 94 candidates for graduation 
for the degree Doctor of Veterinary Medicine, three of whom are graduating cum laude. Meanwhile, the college has two candidates for the degree Master of Science in Veterinary Medicine. The College of Veterinary Medicine, or CVM, is the first veterinary school in the Philippines. It was established on June 18, 1908, through Philippine Act 1870 as one of the original colleges of the University of the Philippines. From 1910 to 1960, UPCVM was the sole source of veterinary manpower needs of the country. To date, the college is the only veterinary school in the Philippines that offers a graduate program in veterinary medicine. It also has consistently registered the highest passing rate in the National Veterinary Medicine Licensure Examination and was recognized by the Commission on Higher Education as a center of excellence in veterinary education in the country since February 27, 2009. CVM aims to provide the highest standards of scientific instruction in the prevention and control, diagnosis, and treatment of animal diseases as well as in the basic principles of animal production, nutrition, and management. It aims to maintain and strengthen its leadership as the National, Institu as the National Institution of Excellence in Veterinary Education, Research, and Extension to enrich its linkages in the medical, biological, and agricultural sciences and to assist in the national efforts for a better quality of life for the Filipino people through improved nutrition and health. CVM offers a six-year undergraduate Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program that includes a two-year pre-veterinary curriculum taken at the College of Arts and Sciences. In the veterinary professional curriculum, the first two years of veterinary proper focus on the basic and paraclinical veterinary courses, while the third and fourth year concentrate on clinical subjects. Once again, the candidates for graduation from the College of Veterinary Medicine We now present to you the candidates for graduation from the Graduate School, led by its Marshal, the Graduate School Secretary, Associate Professor Pamela A. Custodio. This year, the Graduate School has 316 candidates for graduation. 71 for the degree Doctor of Philosophy and 245 for the master's degree. Of this number, 12% are international students from countries in West Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. The Graduate School is recognized as a leading center for advanced studies especially in the fields of agriculture and forestry. Its graduates are the leading practitioners in their fields, not only in the country, but in the whole of Southeast Asia. It draws strength from more than 988 regular and non-regular members of the graduate faculty who hold academic linkages with various national and international education and research institutions. Of this, there are about 540 adjunct and affiliate faculty members coming from academic and research institutions who serve as research advisors. Created on December 21, 1972, 
The graduate school integrates, coordinates, and administers all graduate programs of UP Los Baños, including its off-campus programs and the UP Professional School for Agriculture and the Environment. This year, the Graduate School is celebrating its 50th founding anniversary with the theme, Galing at Sigasig. The Graduate School envisions to lead with foresight, the next level VUCA proof, and impactful graduate education in the Philippines and the ASEAN region. Its mission is to co-create its systems and experiences directed by digital, data-driven and local anticipatory design and supported by lean, agile, and humanized processes. The Graduate School is a founding member of the Southeast Asian University Consortium for Graduate Education in Agriculture and Natural Resources. Launched in September 1989, through the initiative of the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture, the consortium fosters collaborative efforts to enhance graduate education in agriculture, environment, and natural resources in the region. It is also one of the founding members of the National Science Consortium, organized in 2009 by the Department of Science and Technology, in line with its Accelerated Science and Technology Human Resource Development Program. The program aims to enhance the capability of Philippine higher education systems to produce technically competent PhD and MS graduates by providing ample graduate scholarships to promising Filipino scientists and researchers. The overall mission of the Graduate School is to develop the student's ability for critical inquiry and independent research, for the advancement of knowledge, and for the development of professional leadership. The Graduate School's vision is to play the lead role for UP Los Baños to fulfill its mandate as a graduate and research university, to be internationally recognized for the quality diversity and relevance of its graduate programs and students to promote an enabling environment that is technologically advanced in intellectual exploration among students and to proffer a nurturing environment conducive to graduate education. There are around 30 major fields of specialization for the PhD program and 67 for the master's program. Recently instituted programs include the PhD in Applied Mathematics, MS Physics, Master in Animal Nutrition, Master in Clinical Nutrition, and Master in Food Engineering. Indeed, the Graduate School has pursued programs and activities that help solidify the UP administration's thrusts and initiatives. The Graduate School has established innovative graduate programs. University industry or private sector linkage is evident in the offering of programs in the UP Professional School of Agriculture and the Environment which is in partnership with Anflacor Tadeco in, uh, in Panabo City, Davao del Norte. The 
graduate school is headed by the dean, who is also the chair of the Graduate Academic Advisory Council, which consists of all colleges, which, which consists of all college and school deans, and the graduate school standing committee chairs. The dean of the graduate school is Professor Jomar F. Rabahante. Once again, the candidates for graduation from the UP Los Baños Graduate School. Let us now welcome the college deans and their faculty members, led by the university faculty marshal, dean of the graduate school, Professor Jomar F. Rabahante. Dean Rabahante is followed by the faculty members of the College of Agriculture and Food Science, led by Dean Elpijo M. Agbisit, Jr. Dean Agbisit is followed by the CAF's faculty members, Assistant Professor Darcy R. Pamulaklakin, Assistant Professor Julie Isa L. Mandap, Assistant Professor Kathleen T. Dizon, Assistant Professor Dara Maria F. Realin, Assistant Professor Crystalline S. Desena Hadakan, Assistant Professor Quincy E. Ibanez, and Professor Eureka Teresa M. Ocampo. Please welcome Associate Dean Chrislene Margus N. Pinol, College of Arts and Sciences, together with the CAS faculty members. Assistant Professor Ramel Niklos P. Leiratana. Assistant Professor Gemalin H. Lozano. Assistant Professor Anthony P. Mercado. Assistant Professor Frederick G. Brasilias. Assistant Professor April Hope T. Castro. Assistant Professor Joseph Carmelo K. San Pascual. Assistant Professor Adonis A. Llanos. Assistant Professor Ronilo Jose D. Flores. Associate Professor Lisa N. Comilla. Associate Professor May Joan B. Aguila. Associate Professor Rosemary D. Eusebio, Professor Editha C. Jose, and Professor Damasa M. Mahandog. Please welcome Dean Maria Stella C. Tirol, College of Development Communication, and the CDC faculty members, Mr. Elijah Jesse M. Pine, Mr. Yen Adrifson P. Garma, Assistant Professor Trina Lea T. Mendoza and Assistant Professor Roville A. Espiritu. Please welcome Dean Agham C. Cuevas, College of Economics and Management, followed by the SEM faculty members, Mr. Aaron T. Castillo, Assistant Professor Mar B. Cruz, Assistant Professor Maria Noriza Q. Herrera. Assistant Professor Marjorie S. Florentino. Assistant Professor Divine Criza B. Padua. Assistant Professor Jason S. Cabral. 
Assistant Professor Arlene C. Gutierrez and Professor Antonio Jesus A. Quiloy. Please welcome Dean Rosana Marie C. Amongo, College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology, together with the SEAT faculty members. Assistant Professor Roderick L. Catriz. Assistant Professor Josefa Angeli D. Revilla. Assistant Professor Christian C. Vaso. Associate Professor Marion Lux Y. Castro. Associate Professor Ramon Christian P. Eusebio. Associate Professor Ralph Christopher B. Gallejos. Professor Roger A. Nguyen Jr. Professor Monet Concepcion M. Detras. And Professor Arthur L. Fajardo. Please welcome Dean Marlo D. Mendoza. College of Forestry and Natural Resources, followed by the CFNR faculty members. As Assistant Professor Lizelle B. Grefalda. Assistant Professor Glenn Christian P. Acaso. Associate Professor Annalyn L. Codilan. Associate Professor Maria Larisa Lelu P. Gata. And Professor Nelson M. Pampolina. Please welcome Dean Ricardo M. Sandalo, College of Human Ecology, followed by the CHE faculty members. Assistant Professor Rodessa N. Forcadilla. Associate Professor Dino B. Gagues. Associate Professor Enero V. Ancho. And Professor Marites G. Yi. Please welcome Assistant to the Dean, Dr. Jovendro Hubert A. Abalos, College of Veterinary Medicine, together with the CVM faculty members, Assistant Professor John Michael G. Bernardo, Associate Professor Emilia A. Lastica Ternura, Associate Professor Ramil L. Galay, Associate Professor and Professor Rio John T. Dujusin. Please welcome Dean Rowena D.T. Bakongis, College of Public Affairs and SIPA faculty members. Assistant Professor Eileen V. Lapitan. Assistant Professor Monica H. Wallet. Associate Professor Evely P. Serrano. Professor Jane C. Reyes. Professor Maria Ana T. Kimbo and Professor Josefina T. Pizon. Please welcome Dean Rico C. Ancog, School of Environmental Science and Management, followed by the SESAM faculty members, Assistant Professor Janice B. Sevilla Nastor, Associate Professor Jessica D. Villanueva Peirabe, Associate Professor Hildi Maria E. Nacorda, and Professor Maria Victoria O. Espaldon. Following the faculty members and the respective deans are the directors of institutes and centers. Please welcome Director Mark Oliver S. Lianco, General Education Program. Director John Mervyn L. Embate, Learning Resource Center. Director Edmund G. Centeno, Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning. Director Bella C. Cruzana, University Publications Office. Director Marian P. De Leon, Museum of Natural History. Director Marilyn B. Brown, National Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. And Director Eileen Lorena M. Mamino, Office of Alumni Affairs and Assistant to the Chancellor. Please welcome our guests, Attorney Maria Gabriela Roldan Concepcion, Professor UP College of Law.
Assistant Professor Chris R. Lanzaderas, President, All UP Academic Employees Union. Director Glenn B. Gregorio, Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture. Captain Mauro W. Baradas, President, UP Los Baños Alumni Association. Miss Sally Carino Camposano, former student regent from 1995 to 1996. Dr. Reynaldo Ebora, Director Picard. Please welcome former Chancellors of UP Los Baños, Professor Fernando C. Sanchez, Jr. Dr. Rex Victor O. Cruz. Let us all welcome Dr. Emil Q. Javier, National Scientist, former UP President, and former UP Los Baños Chancellor. Let us now welcome the Chancellors of other UP campuses. Dean Joan Serrano, representing Chancellor Melinda D.P. Bandalaria, UP Open University. Chancellor Leo B. Malagar, UP Cebu. Chancellor Clement C. Camposano, UP Visayas. And Chancellor Fidel R. Nemenzo, UP Diliman. Please welcome the members of the UP Los Baños Management Committee, starting with Director Greg T. Pawilen, Institutional Development for Higher Education. Director Nina M. Cadiz, Quality Assurance Office. Director Emil John C. Cabrera, Technology Transfer and Business Development Office. Director Jose Limbay M. Espaldon, Ugnaya ng Pahinungot. Director Mark Lester M. Chico, Office of Public Relations. Ms. Fides Marciana Z. Tambalo, Assistant to the Vice Chancellor for Research and Extension. Associate Professor Jennifer Marie S. Amparo, Assistant to the Vice Chancellor for Administration and Director, Business Affairs Office. And Assistant Professor Rosel V. Collado, Assistant to the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Let us now welcome the Executive Committee Marshal, Dean Maribel D. Sese. Following her are the members of the Executive Committee. Associate Professor Analiza Henedina M. Ramirez. Vice Chancellor Roberto P. Sereno. Vice Chancellor Nathaniel C. Bantayan. Vice Chancellor Fernando O. Paras Jr and Vice-Chancellor Rolando T. Bellio. Please welcome officers of the UP system, Professor Jonalu S. Labor, Special Assistant to the Vice President for Public Affairs, External Communication and Government Relations, Professor Jose Wendell P. Capili, Assistant Vice President for Public Affairs, and OIC Director, Media and Public Relations Office. And Mr. Robert Lester F. Aranton, representing alumni Regent Reynaldo C. Lacerna.
Please welcome members of the Board of Regents, Honorable Victoria Canape Belegal, Staff Regent. Honorable Rene Luis Co, Student Regent. Honorable Amy Lynn Barion Dupo, Faculty Regent. Honorable Gregorio B. Pastor Fide. And Honorable Francis C. Laurel. Carrying the UP Los Baños Mace, may we present to you the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Professor Jean O. Loyola, representing the University Registrar. <laughs> Professor Jose V. Camacho, Jr., Chancellor, University of the Philippines, Los Baños. Carrying the UP Mace is the Secretary of the UP System and of the Board of Regents, Attorney Roberto M.J. Lara. And finally, Honorable Danilo L. Concepcion, 50th UP Los Baños Commencement Exercises guest speaker and President of the UP System. We would like to once again acknowledge Attorney Maria Gabriela Roldan Concepcion, Professor of the UP College of Law. We would likewise like to once again recognize Captain Mauro W. Baradas, President of the UP Los Baños Alumni Association. We would also like to acknowledge Dr. Resti Collado, Vice President of the UPLB Alumni Association.